morning. So we're at school and I have moved a few of my desks around this morning. I just got here and it just occurred to me that I needed to do that. So Paisley helped me. Say good morning. Good morning. We went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning because I didn't make coffee last night and I really wanted coffee and Paisley got a donut. But we are here and I'm moving things around a little bit. I need to go down and check my mailbox and get a few things done this morning. So I'll catch back up with y'all probably during lunch. Okay, put your period. Henry's parents said he could get a dog. When his parents said he could get a dog, how did he respond to that? Do you know what page that was on? There it is, go back. Right there. Read that page. Henry told his parents, and he did. So down here, you say what he did. Did you get that? What'd you say? Henry said, I want to have you. Right now. Perfect. Good. What did you say? Henry said, I want to hug you. I want to hug you. Good. So, it's been a pretty good morning so far. I feel like I'm just now having a chance to take a breath because it's go, go, go from the second I walk in here. But this morning, my kids did their rotations. I did some more progress monitoring just like yesterday. I'm still doing my red students. And then during our last time, my students had to finish one question that they had to do about extreme insects because we were finishing that book up today. And then I let them go down to the computer lab and do a website called Get Epic. If you haven't heard of it, it's a great website to give students lots of opportunities to read books that they are interested in. And I think it's a free website, if I'm not mistaken. But as a teacher, you create a profile for all of your students, and then they go in to their profile, and they can search books that they want to read. There are audio books, there are read to me books, and then some of the books have quizzes. So after they finish reading, they can take the quiz and you can kind of monitor and go in and check all the things that they're doing. And so my kids love it. So I let them do that. And then I came back up here to work with my independent group, which is reading a Magic Tree House book called, let me see. What did I do with that? Oh, it's over here. Vacation Under the Volcano. And because they're an independent group, I try to give them different things to work on so that they can be independent. So they're working on actually these questions. So they have to read the chapter. And then there's two written questions and a multiple choice question. And they're kind of on different places. You know, I've got some on chapter nine, some on chapter six. One's about to finish, and I have two that are finished. So, I can't re oh, I got this from Teachers Pay Teachers. It's Violet Tabitha, Magic Tree House Vacation Under the Volcano. And so I got these to use for my independent group. I actually have another one that is called Midnight on the Moon, I think, and that'll be the one that they do next. And then we read the last chapter in our Jeannie B book, so we just finished that up, and my kids were really sad because they loved that book. But now they are at lunch, and I am going to straighten up a little bit. I have these books and pages from this morning that I need to go through and sort and check what they've done so far. I have a huge mess over here of random things I need to go through and sort as well. And then these books a student brought in for our book drive that we're doing. So I'm going to do that. I did not bring my lunch today and they're having breakfast. So I'm not sure if I'm going to eat or just work through lunch. I'm not really hungry yet. So I may just wait and eat something a little later, but I'll catch back up with y'all Probably later today, I'm not sure when, we are meeting for just a little while during our planning time today to plan and talk about some things for our program. That is in two days. So, 
that's what we're going to do. I don't. You don't like it? Curse! I just need water. I could, I could, and I could. It's good. It's you don't have to, you can just throw it away if you don't like it. You don't like your stocking, the red and white and green? It's so pretty. That one. Can I have that one? Like that? Yeah, go get your cotton balls. Miss Edwards, it's Three. that one. You're double checking this. Um, no, just show how to make 36 with just dimes and pennies. For ones? No, for, for tens. Dimes. For tens? Oh Draw a circle with a 10 in it, like up here on the board. in the room from car riders. I had to put kids in the car this afternoon and it is cold and wet and raining outside and I left my rain boots in here and these are the shoes I'm wearing. I tried to stay out of the rain as much as possible but my toes kind of feel wet. But I'm back in the room. It is three o'clock and we had a pretty good afternoon today. We went and practiced which my kids are getting or all the kids really are getting so much better. But um we did a little bit of math this afternoon. I taught them how to play a new math game, which we didn't even have time to play, so they'll be doing that tomorrow. And we had to have inside recess today, too. So a lot of my kids worked on their mailbox work and, you know, incomplete things that they needed to finish up. And then the ones who were finished with everything got to play. Here's the craft that we did today for Canada. They all made a little stocking, and I put their initials on it with some glitter. And so they're going to put those in their travel bags. This is my pitiful looking Christmas tree. Look at this. It's pitiful. So I need to do something with it. I just don't know what. I think I just need to get a whole new tree because it's just like a blob of evergreen. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It has lights on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's not staying right there. I'm going to get some morning work ready. Paisley has gymnastics tonight, so I'm going to have to leave here at least by a quarter till five, just so I can make sure to get there on time. But I'm going to work till then. I've got lots to do. I'm going to try to get some things ready for tomorrow, and I've got to do my newsletter and homework and decide which country I'm going to do tomorrow because I think we finished Canada today. We might do England. Here's our Henry and Mudge book that we did today. I was going to show you guys how they did. So we talked about um, the major events. I was just going to do one at a time. So Henry's parents said he could get a dog was one of the major events that happened. And how Henry responded was Henry said, I want to hug you. And he did. So we're going to continue this tomorrow, so I don't have to get anything ready for that. I need to look through my morning meeting book and find something to do for tomorrow. Th 
this is the best morning meeting book. It does have a few things in here that are kind of a little far-fetched or you have to do a lot of preparation for them, but mostly they're really good. We did this um, activity where I wrote, I don't know if I've showed y'all this already, but I wrote different kinds of foods on two cards and put them in the bag and they had to draw a card out and then find the person with the same card as them and then tell two things they had in common with that food, whether they liked it or how they liked it or maybe they've never had it or whatever, but they really like that. So I think I'm going to make some new cards and do maybe a book title or a game or a story or a color. I'm not sure yet. It is 4.30 and I'm getting ready to head out. I worked on my newsletter this afternoon and got that ready to go home in Friday folders on Friday. Here it is. And I went ahead and picked a terrific kid for the month of December and filled out his invitation for that and emailed our secretary who actually does the certificates to let her know. I printed out a few things that I might use for our book next week and I put our Christmas tree over here. It looks a little pitiful but it's pretty with the lights on so I'm going to turn the lights on in the morning. I went down to the office and filled out a warehouse sheet to get some red and yellow construction paper and some more of the tacky finger. This is the only one that I have and my assistant uses it too. And I like to take it home and sometimes I forget and leave it in my book bag or home. So I thought if I had another one, I could just stick it in my backpack and use it, you know, when I need it at home. I also went ahead and put out our rotating library right here. This is something that Title I purchased for all of our classrooms. And so, as you can see, each box is leveled. And then the books inside have, um, it says SSR rotating libraries. And so, we rotate them between classes. And over here on the side is a list of all the books that should be in this cart. So, when my students come in in the morning, I'm going to have them put all of their rotating library books in this cart so that we can roll it down to another second grade room and then get a new one for us with different books in it. I've got my backpack packed. These are worksheets from today. And then a few other things in there I need to look through. But I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed coming to my classroom with me. Make sure that you click on the thumbs up button down below this video to like the video. Let me know if you did. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. And click on the little bell beside the subscribe button to get instant notifications every time I upload a video. I upload a video every day of the week, Monday through Friday, and I love sharing my day with you guys. So thank you so much for all of your support and for supporting my channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!